Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artists I see and Sot. And you'll see in Photopia, I have already opened up a photograph of myself. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the magic wand tool to mask off the background. And then I'm going to press delete and that's going to get rid of the background for me. Any extra bits, I'm using the rectangle select tool just to select them and then press delete. Okay. Now I'm going to just use the rectangular select tool to mask myself and then use the arrow tool just to shimmy myself down so I've got more room above me and I'm a bit lower down on the project. Okay, now I'm going to go image adjustments black and white to turn myself black and white and image adjustments contrast and brightness and I'm going to whack up the contrast and the brightness quite a lot just to make it so that there's only my features really showing so that I can go image adjustments threshold and I can just choose um, how much light and dark I want to show okay and that makes it look like I'm a bit of a stencil um, so a kind of graffiti style stencil and on Google, I found these paint drips and I've already used the magic wand and delete to get rid of the background. And now I'm going to grab the rectangle select tool and just drag over the whole lot and press control C to copy them and then go to my project and press control V to paste them in. And then I'm going to use the arrow tool just to stretch those and squish them a bit so they're closer together and um, so they stretch all the way down my page. Now doing that has made these kind of bits at the top elongated, so I don't want that. I'm just gonna rectangle select just those and use the arrow tool to just shrink those down again so they're as small as they were, if not a little bit smaller. Okay, right, now I'm going to stretch that back up and next thing I'm going to do is take that layer and I'm gonna right click on it and duplicate it and I'm going to move that layer so it's next to the first one and then I'm going to duplicate it again um, and this time I'm going to take the handle on the left hand side of the new layer and just flip it over so that we don't have the same colors repeating over and over and over again we want to make it look like they're not mirrored and I'm just going to shimmy this over so the drips match Okay, now I'm going to select all the layers on the right hand side by pressing shift while I click on them and I'm going to merge them. So right click and click merge layers and that's put all the layers on one layer. So now I can just use the arrow tool to stretch those over so they fit across the page. Right, next up I want to take some of the drips and isolate them. So I'm going to use the rectangle select tool and I'm just going to select off certain drips and if I press shift I can select multiple drips at a time so I can do this all in one go and it's up to you which drips you choose I'm being quite random just selecting a spread across the page so there's a nice mixture of different drips okay now I'm going to press Control C and then control V and that's going to copy and then paste those drips into their own layer as you can see if I just make the layer below invisible okay and I'm just selecting both of them because I'm just going to drag those drips up a bit more I don't want quite so much bleed at the top of my page okay right good stuff um, next up we need to have a background so I, on Google, searched for white wall and I found this image and I'm just selecting part of it with the rectangle select tool, control C to copy it, control V to paste it into my new project. And I'm just using the arrow tool to drag it to the corner and then resize it so it fits across the whole page. Okay. Then I'm going to go image adjustments levels 
and I'm going to grab the left handle and I'm going to drag it up so it makes my wall more grey. Now you could use brightness and contrast for this but I think that this gets a better effect with the bricks being more pronounced. Okay, right, now I'm going to grab that layer and just drag it down to the bottom as it's my background and I'm going to get my picture of me and I'm going to put it between the, the paint drips. Okay, so you can see some paint drips over me and some behind me. All right. Okay, um, next up I want to make myself look like I'm on the brick wall. So I'm going to make sure that I'm selected as a layer. And then on the drop down menu above, I'm going to choose multiply. And that's going to make it look like I'm on the brick wall by turning the white areas into clear areas. But I want my face to be lighter than the rest so I'm going to go to the magic wand tool and I'm going to click on the background and that's going to mask off around me and then I'm going to go select and inverse and then that's masked off just me okay so then I go back to the wall layer and I go image adjustments brightness contrast and I bring up the brightness and that means that I'm lighter but you can still see the bricks through Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is grab the top layer and just turn the opacity down a little bit so that it looks like the drips are going over my painting. And that is this piece done and dusted. I hope this tutorial is helpful.